Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. the Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The gods. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from crying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking!
available now. <laughs> and then, uh, if I could move, I'd right deliver. Same day guarantee. <laughs> Happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. That's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. My roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shriveled them up. Oh, would that work? But of course my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need, uh... Mythical salt water? Oh! Oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite? Sweet and charitable? No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good.
challenge me. Fail, and you shall be reduced to nothing. <laughs> With Achilles by our side, we'll win this battle! a naiad, and my dad a prostitute. But when you're with us, you're family. <sighs> kind of jealous of the mortal stem to stone, honestly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 